Good morning, Martians. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit what I've been doing out at the mining area. Um, I haven't really um, attacked this in my Let's Play, even though this is the set of my Let's Play. I may just, you know, imply a week went by or something. But anyway, as you can see, I couldn't plug, you know how I couldn't plug directly into the units uh, on some of these? So I went ahead and was trying some of the wall panels. And... I guess I should have waited for the sun to come up a little bit more. But there's an inside and an outside part of this panel. And you can see they're color coded. So the red plugs into the green. And the green plugs into the red. You can't really see the rim. There's a little rim around there. Once the sun comes up you'll see it. And then... So when you come directly from these. The red plugs into the unit. The solar array. And it goes into the wall socket. And then from the socket to the machines. Now, some odd things are going on. These actually do power and plug in now. Um, at first, I, the ones I spawned in earlier in the editor um, would not plug in. So I just went ahead and printed them again. I just deleted all, all my other units. And... Um, printed up new ones and they plugged in fine but only to the inside of these wall sockets which is interesting because you can't mount this inside a room it wants to go to the ground through the floor so I guess it's, it's a walkway I mean I don't mind kinda of something like that I mean you got a power unit I was able to mount these guys for storage for oxygen and water most important things on the planet but, so yeah, they work. Now this one over here seems to not be registering my power. I did plug two solar panels. Well, I think they all link through the wall. So, you know, they link. Uh, every little pin here transmits electricity. So it's, I don't think it has to go into each little socket that way. So I have two arrays going into the same socket wow that load dropped real quick didn't it um, and then I got them both coming out going to the same unit here so I can have two panels going to this powering this guy and it still says the loads too high the available power is going up but the, I mean the Sun's coming up and there is battery units over there I have yet to be able to oh wow the load just shot up um, put extra batteries in. I haven't been able to print extra chemical batteries. I mean, you can spawn them in and then put them inside um, this guy here. Actually, lets you um, put... But I think it's only that you can put something in there. And I just put four batteries in this guy here. Um... Now it seems like this is the only one I can plug directly into from a solar array at this point. The antenna. Communications array or whatever they're calling it. Um, so I'm not sure. I mean I know they're still working on it and they just recently uh, released this actual option. This seems odd though. That I have to... Now this thing registered fine until I put a bunch of empties in it. So I was going to try an experiment real quick. Let's get this joker who's just lollygagging over here. Oh god, lollygagging. No wonder he's lollygagging, he's about ready to die. So we're going to get rid of him. If I can... And we'll spawn in a new guy. And I want to pull those containers out. And you got to be careful of these damn cables, man. I've been trying to jump them because you might, you can trip on them and unplug everything, so that's kind of crazy. So I'm going to see what's happening here. Can I? I love that we don't need our tools anymore. So I'm going to see if I can actually get this thing, if it had anything to do with me popping these barrels on. Because it worked, oops. It worked fine earlier when I didn't have barrels on it. So it is, that does not seem to be the case. 
So I'm gonna have to still work on that. So it has nothing to do with that. All right. Got to just check, and I don't have anything going in, so it shouldn't be drawing any power. Oops. I love that they made it easier, and you don't need your tool to hang these anymore. And you don't have to be at a specific angle. I'm loving that. You don't even know. I can't convey the love I have for the devs for doing that. I love you. Anyway, so I'm not sure what's going on with this guy and why it's got such a drag. So if you guys got any ideas, let me know, will you? Because you know how these things are driving me nuts. You've been, anybody who's been watching me know I'm, I'm kind of a nut. And uh, so these are working. Everything's working. But this is, seems to be the only way to do it is through the wall panels. I'm not... I mean, I, I don't really love that. It seems... In, I think they're going to make a unit that we got to print. That'll probably be a box that you set down. And you can put more chemical batteries in it. This is what I'm foreseeing just from what I can tell. I mean, it's what you'd think they'd do. So you'd have a box. And probably one side would be an input with maybe... Oh, I don't know, eight inputs or maybe... Maybe you can't, because you do need the display. So, six inputs or something like that. As it, and then the rest would be outputs, or, you know, something like that. So we're going to have some kind of a converter, or... I'm not an electrician, but you'd need a, a capacitor. I'm not even sure. And I've been keeping the <laughs> panels clean. Because I was like, you know, you get the dirt on there, you start losing... Uh, See, it's not dirty enough to clean yet. Oh, that one I can. Can I do this one? No, this one's not dirty enough. So I'm trying to keep them clean, which is an ongoing uh, task you really got to do. So if you're in multiplayer, you just get some noob over there and just keep your panels clean all day. That's his job. You're the panel cleaner. You stand here all day. So it's kind of interesting, and I, just for grins, I... Not grants, really, for necessity. I wanted to put a water unit over here. Whoa. All these cables, they're everywhere. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what I've been up to. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying... It just seems like that's... If, if you have a better way of setting these up... I don't know. I gapped them out just so I could see around. I didn't want 100 tons... I mean, these cables are really stiff and dangerous and difficult to work. I and mean, when you plug them in, you really have to grab the very end. Um, don't. I mean, you can grab in the middle and just yank, and it'll just yank them both out. So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas that's probably better than this, I'd like to know. You know, you know what I was thinking is... If I did this same wall... On the like, say I just made a walkway and a wall on either side, and put a whole string of these panels. I could plug a whole bunch of cables in and just run them all down and let them hang out the other side. Then I wouldn't really have to come in here. But anything I need to plug, I could put extension cables together and make them. You can see how I did that there to get way out there, and have them all run out of it like a, an enclosure, and then you just grab an end and extend to it. Um, I mean, you know, it's what I was going to do at first, and then I wanted to do these tanks. So I was like, well... So I may do that, move these machines further out, and just make a cable hub. And I have my solar panels. I mean, how many freaking solar panels do you need? Is that why we don't have them? I mean, they're just not... They don't produce enough. I mean, this one seems to have... So yeah, whoa, okay, that one says, shows a double because I have it plugged in. Wait a minute, this one's only got one cable. That's interesting. Left and right now. Oh, okay, that's the panels here, left and right panel. I see, this one's aiming towards it. I put them in this direction because that's how the sun comes up and down. And maybe that's not the best way. If I turn them sideways... Let's do that. Let's do, try and experiment. Cause I did it this way so the right one would get it in the morning and the left one in the evening. That, that just seems like the most logical way. I have the angle, but 
If I turned them the other way, you know, I can actually move this thing while it's plugged in if I'm real careful, so. I guess we can do an experiment here. Can I not? I thought I did before. Oh yeah, wait. I turned off my... There we go. Easy. There's always that little snapping action going on. So if I was to... Do it this way. Move it over here so I can get to the display. See what the load is now. So what is that? 435 watt. 440. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, my original weight... 360... Oh, that's uh, load over there. 68. 65. So it looks like my original plan was the best way to go. Because of the angling of it all. I mean, maybe at noon it wouldn't matter, but... And these things get dirty just sitting there. Not the easiest things to rotate around, that's for damn sure. Okay, so... If I stick to my original plan, it seems to get the best if you... You know, figure out your east and west seems to be the way to go I wonder if they're gonna make this uh, you know give you an interface to do something but maybe not okay so basically I just kinda wanted to cover I guess I don't wanna say the best way of doing it right now, but this is like the only way I could figure out. And uh, I knew they had changed something because I got the um, change log, and it said that you know, the next day it said it again. So I, uh, I think that meant that I had to delete everything, um, all these ones I spawned in prior to the upgrade or whatever. I don't know why this one lost its power. I can't figure it out. Um, I mean, it really doesn't make much sense. It was working fine before. Oh, wait a minute. Am I misunderstanding that? Maybe that's just... Oh, the load. Oh, okay. So it worked. It's just there's nothing running on it right now. Oh, I see. So that flash means I'm not pulling any power at all for use. Oh, I got it. Okay, so uh, that's all right. Yeah, stand corrected. Stand corrected. So that means if I actually... Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell? Just... What are we at? Noon or something? Oh, that's interesting. So just... A, well, you got about a, like a, a... A small gap to actually get something done? And this thing you can't store batteries in. There's, there's no... Uh, I'm not getting a highlight here where you could put batteries on it. Hmm. So, yeah. I don't know what, what that was about. If you get any, got any ideas, let me know. Because... I'm going to slack on this cable here. And they said they have not... You don't need power for the 3D printer at this point. So I'm not really sure. But anyway, you can do the mining now. They don't run just on... Uh, their great personality anymore. You actually have to plug them in. So, you know... 
I know this is kind of one. Uh, my videos are, are really short when it comes to the editor and the, the new features. I just wanted to kind of drop you a note on that, just in case it's uh, helpful to anybody. I don't know what we could uh, do otherwise. So anyway, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you tomorrow.